In this video, we are going to demonstrate uh, GeoMagic for SOLIDWORKS. Uh, in this one, we're going to use 3D scan data as reference data. So we won't be really using the data to bring in scan data and then actually design anything on that scan data. You know, we're building a part from that scan data. We're primarily going to use it as reference data. Okay, so we have some other uh, videos that show uh, the whole process of bringing in scan data and actually designing on that scan data. But another common way to use scan data is use it as reference, and that's what we're going to show here. So GeoMagic for SOLIDWORKS is an add-on product, uh, but it's fully integrated into SOLIDWORKS. So the advantage of that is you're working right inside SOLIDWORKS. So if you already know SOLIDWORKS, it's just a tab here with a series of commands that that you can use. So, um, you know, GeoMagic is a company that makes a product called DesignX, which is a standalone reverse engineering product. It's a very powerful tool, but it's a separate product that you have to learn and do all your reverse engineering and then, uh, you know, bring it into a product like SOLIDWORKS or something else. So the advantage of this, like I said, is it's integrated into the system and, um, you know, it, it's, it makes it easy to use and it's all integrated. So. What we have here is a, a trailer for a boat, uh, and traditionally uh, the, uh, the, the way this is done is it's kind of a standard uh, size. This is for custom trailers, and uh, they would go out and uh, take hand measurements on a boat hull to then build the upright. So they, they start with a standard size and kind of a basic standard layout, and then what they need to do is custom uh, design the uprights at a certain height so that then they can mount the bunks to that. Um, so traditionally they were hand measuring it, uh, it was prone to mistakes or designing it where you might have a, a bunk right on top of a, uh, an, an intake, uh, you know, an air, uh, sorry, a water intake or something like that, that wasn't desirable. So, uh, the idea is to 3d scan the bottom of the boat and then be able to design bunks that fit up right to it and be able to do it much faster without, without near as many mistakes or hopefully none at all. So here's a just standard, you know, CAD model uh, of the boat trailer. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the scan data. Now, uh, for this, we've already just moved the scan data and aligned it on the boat like we would, or sorry, on the trailer like we would want it. That's just, you know, moving the, the, the data around to get it where we want. And then what we're going to want to do is design the uprights and the bunks so that they fit properly on the boat. So you get, you know, good weight distribution and you want them in between the, the chimes here and, and so forth. So you can see the scan data and the scan data isn't perfect. There was an engine in the back. It uh, made it a little bit hard, but it's, it's plenty of data for what we need. And again, we're only using it as reference. Okay. Now, if you've ever tried to load 3D scan data into standard SOLIDWORKS, um, you can bring it in, you can look at it, but you can't orient it anywhere. You can't cut sections through it. You can't even measure it. You can kind of look at it and maybe trace a silhouette around something, but that's really about it. It's very limited. With GeoMagic for SOLIDWORKS, we have a whole suite of tools and things we can do. And again, for this video, we're going to use it as reference data. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show two different ways of kind of designing the same thing. We're going to start and we'll use this crossbar here. Um, to do our initial work. So what I'm going to do is just hide uh, some of this other stuff just to just to make this uh, you know easier to, uh, to to see what's going on. So I'm just going to select some of these uh, here and uh, actually, oops, actually I need to do that in here. So I'm going to go here, 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 there. Let me get rid of that one and that one. Okay, and we'll just hide those. Okay. So I'm going to start with just this one. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut a cross section. OK, and I need to pick a plane and I'm just going to pick this face here and you'll see what it's done. It's actually created this section and you can see it's cutting it right through the scan data. Now, anywhere there's no scan data, it's just going to be, uh, you know, blank, but that's OK. And what that's done, let's hide the scan data real quick. What that's done is that is created what we call and if you look in the tree it's called a mesh sketch so it's kind of like it's a sketch in solidworks we label it a mesh sketch because all this is is a polyline um, and just uh, convert it into construction geometry and typically we're just going to use this as reference 
It's not enclosed. It's not perfect. It's not lines and arcs. It's just a polyline, okay? But it's going to be good enough for what we need, okay? So let's go ahead and get in a view kind of straight on to this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, sketch mode of SolidWorks. And what we're going to do is come in here and we just want to draw a line from uh, basically here to here, right kind of there in that uh, middle. And uh, we're going to um, then offset it, okay, because we want to have clearance uh, away from the boat. Now, normally it'd be an uh, inch and a half for the bunk, but then we want about a quarter inch um, for the bracket, which... Um, which you'll see here uh, at, at the end when we get done. So we we'll want to go about uh, 1.75, and we're offsetting the bottom of the boat uh, for, for that allowance, okay? Uh, and we can just delete that line then. So we've just offset away for the bunk, and then a little bit of room for there's an L bracket that mounts to the upright, and uh, there's a little bit of adjustment in that. Um, and then from here, now we're going to go ahead and just kind of center it, and we're going to run it... Um, uh, you know, perpendicular here, and uh, we'll do the same thing uh, over here. And so, you know, the beauty of this is we're just in the, uh, you know, sketch mode of, of SolidWorks, okay? So everything in here works, uh, you know, like normal SolidWorks. It's just sketching. And then I want to uh, dimension between these two, and that needs to be 3.5 or, you know, whatever it is. And then let's trim this off. So, you know, however you like to... Uh, sketch things again you're in the SolidWorks sketcher at this point okay so again we're just using this mesh sketch as kind of a guide but you can see how quickly we've designed that now let's go ahead and extrude it uh, and uh, pick this guy and we want to go uh, 1.5 thickness and we'll hit okay so let's bring back our scan data and just review what we just did okay so literally in a matter of minutes, we have cut a section through the boat and designed an upright, um, you know, uh, 1.75 inches away from the bottom of the boat, perpendicular basically to that area. Uh, and there's our first upright. So you can see how quickly we did that versus if you were trying to measure under the boat, you weren't even really sure exactly where the crossbar was because, you know, as this changes, if you're if you're off too much, you're going to be too close because our our bunks are a little bit wider than the upright, etc. Um, you can see here on the back of the boat, we've got some intakes and other stuff uh, we know we're away from. Uh, these are just the, the jacks the boat was sitting on when it was scanned. It's not really part of it. So so that's one way I'm going to show now on the other side, a uh, similar but a different way of accomplishing the same thing. So for this side, we're going to build a, um, a surface and then our upright, we're going to design it a little bit different. So we're going to go back to the Geomagic for SolidWorks, and we can either extract a plane or a freeform surface. I'm going to go ahead and do a freeform surface. Plane would probably work just as well, but um, what it's basically going to do is we are going to um, circle in or window in. I've got my lasso set here on the scan data, and we are going to then fit a surface just through this area, okay? So you can add and subtract to this. So I can take some out, you know, I can add some to it. But basically, it's going to fit a surface through this red area and follow the shape of that scan data. And you can kind of see it's doing that. And we can make it a little bit bigger. I want it to kind of go beyond it a little bit. Um, and hopefully it'll make sense here in a minute what we're doing. Okay. So what it's done, let's go ahead and hide the scan data. Okay. So it's fit a surface through that scan data in that area while I window it in, okay? And you're going to see here in a minute, I'm just going to use it as reference, okay? So for this one, uh, what we want to do is I'm going to look straight on to this, and let's uh, zoom in. So we're on the other side, and now I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch. We're going to use that right as our bottom. And for this one, we're going to have more of a C-channel-shaped uh, uh, material. So I'm going to draw a line. And again, this could be stock stuff you've already got, uh, you know, created, and you just bring it in for, for the demo here. I'm just going to draw it. I'm not going to bother dimensioning it. But it's the same. It's it's we're in sketch mode, um, uh, uh, you know, like you uh, normally would be in SOLIDWORKS, okay? 
So I've drawn that this time right at the bottom, and you could offset up if you wanted to. Um, let's go now to our features, and we're going to extrude this guy up. Uh, we are going to go up to the surface, but we are going to offset, okay? And let's do our 1.75, okay? So just like the other side, okay? And let's go ahead and just take that. Um, so you can see what we've done, similar to the other side. Uh, and again, let's hide that freeform surface. We don't need to see that. Let's bring our boat scan data back. And you can see what we've done, okay? So it basically accomplished the same uh, you know, thing, uh, just designed it a little bit different. Um, and then from here, so we would just continue on the boat, depending on everywhere we want the uprights. Um, until, you know, until we get it done and then bring in our bunks and, and our brackets. It, at that point, it's all just, you know, traditional SolidWorks. But again, you can see how quickly uh, we're able to do this. So if I, uh, if I bring uh, this guy up here, okay, you can see what the finished product looks like, okay? So you've got your C-channel, you've got your brackets, uh, and this is what I was talking about. You've got this slot here. So it gives you some um, adjustment uh, on, on the bottom and then your bunks, which are typically, you know, wood covered with with carpet. So we've left some allowance there. So, you know, we can very quickly take a standard uh, boat frame, build all the uprights we need, design all of our bunks uh, to fit the boat, you know, basically the, the first time around. So just to wrap this up, uh, we're using the scan data in this case simply as reference data and we're either extracting sections through it or building planes or creating surfaces and then basically designing things that fit up to that so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of it is is uh, done this way where again you're designing whether it's an automobile where you're making things that add on or in this case a boat uh, we've got customers that do uh, more architectural stuff like uh, railings and stairs and enclosures and things like that where they, they'll scan an existing building or house and then design things up to it um, because it's not perfect. So anyways, so that concludes the demo of using Geomagic for SolidWorks to uh, basically use the scan data as reference data.